Okay, we got General Ajax here, and this is going to be the most annoying boss in the instance because if you wipe, <laughs> you have to do all of his trash over. So I'm going to try and show you the most efficient way, and most foolproof way I know of for clearing this trash because it can be such a pain in the ass. Um, uh, basically what you want to do is not do any damage until um, you can misdirect with a volley. So what I'm doing here is I'm just tanking them, getting them all grouped up until my so that my pet can get a thunderclap off, and then so that I can then in turn get range and misdirect with my volley. Um, the the actual trash doesn't hit that hard. Um, they they can be very annoying if you stand closer to them. They can charge you and knock you up in the air, and um, they just have little different abilities, but um. For the most part, they're not too bad. Each boss, like this captain right here, each one of those captains does a little bit of a different effect. But uh, anyway, on the pole, here there comes a group. I send in my pet to attack once they're all grouped up on me. And if you saw there, I had my pet positioned behind me. I told him to stay back there, and so that I was the closest person to the group when they um, spawned or when they aggroed. Um, so they should stay aggro to you and then you just tell your pet once they're all grouped up like that you tell your pet to attack one of them in the middle of them so he goes in there and thunderclaps right away and takes all of them and then you can then get range now that works on every single pack except for this one because this captain he tells all of his ads to attack a specific person and so no matter how much threat you misdirect to your pet he'll tell all of them to come to you and it's just uh, really rather annoying but um, like I said, he's the only captain that does that, so you don't have to worry about the other ones. You know, I'll show you one more time before I fast forward this. Pet standing behind me. I get them on me. I send them him into the one of the middle groups there, one of the guys in the middle, and he thunderclaps. I get range and misdirect with the volley. It's that simple. Um, just a, me a simple men pet will keep him up. Uh, one full duration of volley and plus like a half of another one will kill all the like little needler guys and then should be only be left with, like a warrior and a captain and then you can just uh, take however much time you need to uh, kill that captain for the next wave so that you can regen that and heal your pet up to full whatever you need to do to make sure you're ready for the next wave make sure that feign death on cooldown or something I don't know um, but yeah it's that's the way I've been doing it for a while now and it seems to work uh, most of the time I can't say that I've had too many problems with it but uh, sometimes they'll aggro to the NPCs behind me like there's the four NPCs and the guy the General Barov I think back there I don't know what causes that um, but it usually doesn't happen if you're um, if you get out far enough from them into this room so um, yeah, don't really worry about it too much. But anyway, there's, there's quite a bit of these groups as you can see here. Just trying to show you how my method works and let you kind of figure it out on your own. Alright, here comes the last group. Let's group them up on you, tell your pet to attack one, and then the heat thunderclaps and gets all the aggro on him. It works really good. You definitely want to choose a turtle pet for this guy. Alright, this is the last boss uh, captain here. I'm just regening to full and full mana, full health before he starts. Now, I do use Aspect of the Wild for this fight, the Nature Resistance one, because he's got a, a, thun that right there, that, um, Thunder Stomp Crash, I don't know what it's called, but it knocks you back, and when he does that, you drop aggro, your pet drops aggro, it's a whole new aggro table, so, um, you want to save misdirect for that crash if you can. Like, never use misdirect like after aggro is already established. Um, if you if you can, you want to have make sure that <laughs> feign death is available as well because um, you you will most likely need it. See what happens is every time he does that crash, um, your current health health pool, whatever it is, it's cut in half. So say you have 3,000 HP left, he's going to take off 1,500 of that. 
and you're going to be stuck with 1500 HP. All right? And then the next time he does it, you're going to be stuck with uh, 750 or whatever that is. Um, HP. So you just you keep cutting in half. If you've got this general guy still alive, he's going to be putting a hot on you that ticks for about 220. It's not a whole lot, but um, I mean, every little bit helps. But I mean, when you get down that low in health, you really want to make sure that your pet gets aggro as soon as possible right after that crash. Meaning you want to make sure that you have either feign death or misdirect or both available for that. It really sucks to wipe on this guy after all that trash. Anyway, that's the fight. Um, definitely big good luck with that one.